Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Really excited about this today. You're going to learn the Chris Cornell version of Guns N' Roses' Patience. A few days ago, Chris Cornell's estate released a surprise studio recording of him covering this uh, Guns N' Roses classic song. This coincides to what have been uh, Cornell's 56th birthday. So this is really cool that we have, you know, another piece of his art uh, made available for everyone to enjoy. We're going to do it in standard tuning, no capo. So go ahead, tune your guitars low to high, E, A, D, G, B, and E. So here's the chords you're going to need to know to play this song. You'll need your D major chord. Now, also play the D major, but don't play the high E string. So we're going to leave out that F sharp note. So that would make it uh, like a D5. Now you're also going to need this chord here, which is another version of D, but this time we're just playing D, D, and we are playing the F sharp, so this has no A in it. So this is like a D with no fifth in it. So uh, open D string, seventh fret, first finger on the G, seventh finger, seventh fret right underneath that, second finger on the B string. You're also going to need an F sharp minor over C sharp chord. We're going to play that up here. So you catch the C sharp on the D string at the 11th fret with your second finger, third finger right underneath it at the 11th fret, and then the 10th fret on the A note. Uh, with your first finger. And those three sound F sharp minor over C sharp. You also need F sharp minor, A major. You'll need an A sus4, so you're gonna add your pinky to the B string at that third fret, adding that D note. You're gonna need a B7 chord. And you're gonna need E major, an E suspended fourth. So add your pinky to that G string, adding that A note. If you could do me a quick favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel it really helps us to keep bringing the content, right? As well as you'll be notified then when we have new lessons up. Leave a comment below also. That would be great. Uh, let us know what lessons you'd like to see, what gear you'd like to see reviewed. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. So the song starts off with kind of this whirling piano, right? Going between a D chord, a D with actually no third in it, to that F sharp minor. And if you just wanted to play it like that with downstrokes four times. And then the intro comes in with the guitar. Let me play it for you. This is what it starts off as. So what we're doing here is we're playing that D with no fifth, right, we're going down, and we're picking down, 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 then the whole chord again. And then you go into that F sharp minor over C sharp, same picking pattern, and back to the D, then to your A chord, where you can just play like just the two strings is kind of what I hear on the record, just the D and the G. And then you do the D again. Now this time you're going to play that A sus4 and kind of pull off on that sus4 chord to the E sus4 and you do the same thing on the E sus4 where you're pulling off with your pinky and you hit the whole chord. So on the A sus4 you could do it with a first finger bar or all three fingers but you want to get the kind of I kind of hit the whole chord to give it a little bit more full sound. And then just kind of back right up the string. The same thing on the E sus4. You do that pull up and then back right down the strings. And it goes right into the first verse, shed a tear. So there's two verses and they're the same. Uh, uh, the first verse, shed a tear because I'm missing you. The chords are D. Uh, this time you're going to play the D5. Uh, so you don't want to hear that that high E string. Right? I don't hear that on the record. I hear it more that I think the reason he does it is he wants it kind of dark sounding as opposed to this. You want, right? So play that D5. Um, shed a tear because I'm missing F sharp minor. Then you're going to grab this bass note. Walk to the A, fourth fret low E string. Then you're going to play the A, I'm still all right to smile. F sharp minor, then you go to the B7th for two measures, 
Girl, I think about you every day. And you're gonna hit that E, and then you're gonna do that sus4. And then it repeats, D5 again, uh, was a time when I wasn't F sharp minor. I'll show you the strumming in a second. Bass note to the A, uh, set my mind at ease, F sharp minor. B7, there is no doubt now. Twice on the B7, you're in my heart now. Same thing again on the E. I can't sing this, it's out of my range, but I'll play it for you. The first verse will sound like this. So the rhythm we're creating in the verses is just a basic I'm hitting the, the whole chord, then I'm just hitting the low root note. And you know, it doesn't have to be exact. Hit the whole chord, then hit the low string or low two strings. Then when you go to the F sharp, okay, on the F sharp, you're gonna go hit the whole chord, then the low root note, whole chord, then the bass note, that fourth fret, because you gotta walk that to the A. So that together will sound like this. Other chords, same thing, you know, hit the whole chord, then bounce off that low root note, kind of one and two and three and count. And then the only difference is when you get to the E chord, you're gonna do two downs. Then you're gonna do the E sus four, pull off to the E like we did in the intro and go right up those strings and then a down down up so on the E chord all right and then it goes right into the chorus now if you're having some trouble with bar chords right or changing bar chords to open chords like in this song I could really help you with that I'll tell you what click on that link in the YouTube description box below I'll send you an extended play video lesson it's not on YouTube where I go over my essential bar chord playing and changing techniques. It's packed with exercises. It'll really get your bar chord playing and changing on point. I'll also send you an ebook with that that has more chord charts, more exercises. It's a killer one-two punch. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. Verse one goes into the chorus. The chorus said, woman, take it slow. It'll work itself out fine. And I'll show you a couple different ways to play it. You could do the chorus the same as I showed you for the intro and you could even play it the same way rhythmically or you could use a strum pattern with it if you want to break it up I'll show you just this down down up up down up down down up up down up and you can do that on the first few chords it'll sound like this I think if you want to strum it, have it sound a little fuller, try it like this. I'll just give you the chords. It's, again, pretty much the same, like that intro, but uh, D5, said woman, F sharp minor, take it slow, it'll D again, work itself out, fine, F sharp minor, back and forth. D again, all we need A is just a little patience. You do that E sus4 to the E again. Then go back to the D, said sugar, F sharp minor, Make it slow and well. D again, come together. Fine, F sharp minor. D, all we need is uh, A, just a little patience. E sus4 to E again. It goes into verse two, I sit here on the stairs. And then for strumming, what I would do, I wanna kinda of break it up a little bit. So I would switch it between chords. I'd do like a down, 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 up. As one strum, like on that D5, down, 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 up. And then when you switch the F sharp minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that kind of grabs a cool vibe of the song too. So let me play the chorus for you with that pattern. It'll sound like this.
verse two. Okay, so the song basically verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So the second chorus is the same as the first chorus. The only slight difference is that last chord, that E chord, you stay on it twice as long, two measures instead of one. Other than that, same exact changes. And then it goes into this bridge section, which starts off with just the guitar playing, and he just plays that intro again. Um, and then it goes into the where it comes in. I've been walking the streets at night just trying to get it right part He does the bridge and then he goes into another chorus That's the outro chorus, which is the same as the other choruses and it ends Let me show you the chords on the bridge and then I'll play it the bridge So it's I've been walking the streets is the D and now I think he's starting to play I hear that full D chord so you can Play it just like a regular D with the F sharp in there. I've been walking the streets F sharp minor at night, A, just trying to, F sharp minor, get it right. D, hard to see with so, F sharp many, many around, F sharp minor. A, uh, you know I don't like being stuck, you got to F sharp minor. And the streets is the D again, don't change, but A, maybe the names. F sharp minor, I, I ain't got, time is A, time for the games, cause I need you when you go to need, B7 for two measures to that D, but I but I need you. Now I need you. you you're gonna do that E sus4 so to E again, and then into the chorus again. Said woman. I'll play it for you from that instrumental part in the bridge. Just kind of strum an arpeggiate, like down, down, up, up, down, up. into the final chorus and at the end of the song that last chorus when you end on that E chord just let it ring and that's the end of the song such a fun song to play I hope you like that really honoring the memory of probably one of the greatest singers of rock music of all time enjoy it have fun with it remember subscribe to the channel that really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up stay tuned I got tons more killer lessons and content coming soon also don't forget if you want that extended play bar chord lesson it'll really help get your bar chord playing and changing on point click on that link in the YouTube description box below I'll send it to you for free and if you get a second I just dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. I think it's a slamming record, some of the best music I've ever written. I'd love to get your opinion on it. I'll tell you what, I'll put links to it below. It's streaming on all the platforms. You can get the digital record, you can get the CD. Check it out and let me know how you like it. Let me know if you have any questions on the gear I used or the studio recording. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson and for your support over the years and years. So appreciated. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with it and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on. Yeah.